All right, hey everyone, and Wanderbot here, as always. I don't think it's going to be anybody else on this channel with this voice and whatever, but, uh, well, welcome to some more late night roguelikes. We're gonna start with the thief. And did I totally forget to. Yeah, I think I might have. Uh. We're gonna go stealth because somebody was suggesting it, and you know what? I am totally vulnerable to the powers of the suggestion, and I would really like to actually see this turn out. Well, I'm bound in sight, but it's 91 gold. Chances are we're not going to be able to afford that this floor. Which is kind of a shame. Now, what? 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 That is bullshit. Apparently you can take 5 damage from walking into this corner, which is enough to merge... Uh, which is close enough to be the hitbox on the goddamn bat. What is this? That is complete nonsense. Hey, Moon Loon. How you doing? Let's just get up here. Grab a jelly cap, please be something good for me. Boulder protection, minus one luck. Eh, it's kind of pushing it as far as being good for me or not. But, uh, alright. Apparently after this run, uh, I want to get one good run in with a stealth thief. Considering I, I really haven't had a whole lot of luck with that. But then after that, there's a request for the, uh, the meat tank. Or, uh, as I'm just going to lovingly, uh, call it. The pork chop. I'm gonna get over here, get this copper sword. Damn it! Really? It won't go after the won't go after the slime that's already down here, but it goes after me the moment I fall down. Of course, goddamn arrow trap. What is this? It's a little bit more damage. And considering we don't have anything in dagger spec, might not be a bad idea. It's gonna be a pain to uh. It might be a pain to get everything. Uh. Well, it might be a pain to hit enemies with it. Ah, shit. Of course, holding up while going past the self-sacrifice shrine. The best. Well, is this going to give me a pork chop or it's just going to let me down? All right, well, there's that. We've uh, gotten up. Now, was that the entire point of this place? Yep, it was. As a pain in the butt. Nope, Moon Loon's been here before. A uh, little bit less frequent of a viewer from what I've seen, or at least more of a lurker, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Drinks of plenty, scrolls of plenty. What does this scroll do? Ah, identification, magic mapping. So now we know where shit is, and we're fighting a dragon. We already sacrificed 20, 25 health, so what I'm gonna do, what I wanna do, is crush the dragon with some boulders here. As this is a terrible situa situation to be in, we are quite close to death. Yeah, like it, like I said, uh, like I said, I'm gonna wait until I actually have a good run with the thief, and then I will, uh, then I will actually go play the uh, pork pork chop, the meat warrior, the meaty warrior. My bad. Anyway, let's go with Shadow. The problem I have with this is like, uh. Okay, good. That's safe. Not much else is, though. I do not approve of this area. Neither does that thief, apparently. Let's grab this. Discreetly increases the range reach of our weapons. Alright, uh, the minus on the poison resist kind of sucks, but apart from that, that's a pretty good setup. You guys... Okay, one of you guys is coming. Wow, that is actually a re uh, decent reach enhancement. Good to know. He's going to be a problem, though. That's okay. I, I do have to say, I like... Yeah, that is actually really substantial. Didn't even realize it. And I think the boss is actually going to be lower health, which is kind of nice. But uh, let's see what I can do. Uh, if I could lure him up here so he can take out the... Uh... Let's see, damage reflection, spirit emitter, black potion. If I could get him to take out those... Sp spikes up here? That'd be great. Come on. Come on, Mr. Dude. Am I gonna have to fight you another way? Is there another way to reach him? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go around. Let's see Let's see if I can reach him via this way, where it's like a slightly safer approach. Oh, they've already left the premises, but here he comes. Nope. For a second, he was gonna get stuck in that hole. I hate it when that happens. I'm flabbergasted I didn't take falling damage from that one. And... 
Mr. Bats needs to leave me alone. All right, I've trapped one thief. I can murder the other one. These guys are really good at attacking while hopping into the air, which you totally can't do as the warrior yourself. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Oh, okay, so uh, Moon Loon watches full screen on the phone. I guess that makes sense. I I, I will admit, uh, for streaming the past, past couple of, uh, I guess the past month or so, I've never actually watched a live stream myself. That's, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly a confession, uh, or just kind of like a pseudo-embarrassing fact about me as a... Are you coming? Nope, he's just getting lower and lower. So here's what we're gonna do. S stab repeatedly. I was really hoping... I really wish I had Downstrike as the Dagger Man. Come on, get up here so I can fight you. Mono, uh... Uh, mono a, uh, shoot, pseudopod? Yeah, that's probably about the most accurate way I can phrase that sentence. He is going to make things suck. At least he made that, ent ah, he made that entire area less scary. All right. All right. I got some options here. Wow, that is actually really effective. Get him by himself and you can just kind of murder things. Come on, come on, hang out up here. I got an arrow for you, and he, actually he's already dead. Oh, that's convenient. Now we've got this, which... Hey, that is that is incredibly convenient. So we have a singular potion. Turns out the potion is uh, poison. Glad I figured that out before I tried drinking it in panic. Or by accident. I'm disappointed though, once you've figured out a po potion is poison, you can't poison your weapon. That like that would be really cool if if you could use the if you ow, damn it. If you could use a poison potion to poison your weapons and uh you know say maybe it lasts for a couple minutes or like or for the floor. It would make the most amount of sense if it lasted for the entire entirety of the floor. So stacking up on poison potions actually becomes kind of a nice boon. That would be really cool. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in this game. And we get boulder protection and some dexterity. No fishes? No fishes. Guess I'm not sleeping with them then. We do get a thief, though. Not terribly keen on him. He's kind of a dick. So you know what we're going to do? Just stab repeatedly. Lucky thing is our dexterity is actually getting wicked high now, so we can just kind of repeatedly stab things. Which ain't that big of a deal. And we get a scroll of jump, which would have been useful to get to that one chest had I known about it. But if I can get another one of those before we leave the floor, well, that gives us a nice little little bonus. A gelato pod. Or a slime on. Huh. Chad is trying to come up with alternate, alternate terms for uh, slime grabby bits. Oh, nuts. Well, let's see. I don't know where the treasure room is. I'm going to go take a look at the shop again. I've already forgotten what's already in there. Uh, but you know what? Wait. There's different negative potions that can be put on your weapon? Can I do this? Oh! Oh! I just poisoned my dagger. Guys, I just poisoned my dagger. That's actually a thing. The developers are smarter than me. I mean, go figure. But that's cool. Oh, right. We already knew what was in here. Hmm. Alright, is there anything else that... Probably not. Not worth inspecting. I could buy the potion. Not sure what it does, though. Not sure if it's worth it. Alright, so unless... I should probably check for pork chops. Pork chops are important. Yeah, I now suddenly I'm actually wishing that there were more negative potions. I'm glad I didn't take fall damage from that. That would have sucked. Okay, found it. And apparently I can carry that one around. And it looks like the poison potion doesn't actually uh, decay based on attack. So I might actually have a permanently poisoned weapon. That is great. Oh, so apparently, like, you can enchant your weapons kind of across the board? So, like, using using potions on your weapons actually... What? 
I'm gonna have to experiment with this. That sounds really cool. All right, let's let's go. Actually, uh, I mean, I I feel like I'm just kind of running back and forth on this floor. But you know what? I really want to see what happens if I say buy that black potion and use it on something else. Gimme. Now the armor is not particularly good. It doesn't have uh, dexterity for us. And let's see. Hey, birdcatcher, how you doing? Hey, magic mapping. That's convenient. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually tell us anything more than we already know, which kind of sucks, but oh, whatever. I, I do agree. Uh, somebody mentioned this last night, and I kind of forgot who. I was too busy trying not to die. But I really wish potion, uh, scrolls of magic mapping would give you at least some amount of a hint where uh, pork chops are located. I'm trying to feather this one just so I don't... Just so I don't... Get stuck in the... Oh, shit. That is probably the worst situation that could happen. Because there's, like, no way you can push enemies out of the way. Hello, that's a pretty snazzy suit of armor. Alright, so, let's eat the pork chop. Now, wow, that is actually pretty substantial. Note to self, don't just immediately eat pork chops in the future. By the way, uh, let's see. Apparently, bird catchers learning how to... Uh, make games in 2D. Cool. All right. Now we get uh, now we get the sneak attack. Beautiful. And since let's see if my dagger is still poisoned. It is still poisoned. That is really that opens up a lot of stuff. I really hope it's permanent. And it doesn't like thus far. There doesn't seem to be an indication that there's a maximum time limit on this kind of business, which is awesome. But, uh, huh. I really want to see what other things I can do. Because I could, I could totally see... I could totally see there being, like, a lot of really cool, convenient combos as a result of this kind of business. Shank! And I'm poisoned. Oh. He could probably see me. Can you see me anymore? Nope! Wow, that, that makes huge amounts of differences. We've got a maiden, we're full health. Oh, hitting bats is going to be a pain in the ass, but you know what, you can just kind of insta-stab them anyway. Alright, let's, uh, let's get over here. We've got this bat protecting a treasure chest. Piss him off. Should be able to hit him, no problem. Yeah! Alright, and that slime down there has actually already decided to vacate the premises. Makes, uh, makes my life easier. Yeah, uh, how long, how often does this game update? They say, uh, oh, okay, they, they realized I exist. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit in the corner and just repeatedly stab them with our poison dagger. You are going to regret trying to get at me. All right. They regretted that pretty hard. Slimes, on the other hand, might be a bit of a pain in the ass. Come on, come at me. So I don't want to stab that, uh, I don't want to stab that shrine too often. You coming? I got a dagger for you. It's named Susan. Just like everything else in my life. Alright, where's that last slime? Not in a convenient location, either. Let's see if I can piss him off without... Alright. Yeah, poison damage. And I should... Oh, there is a treasure chest up here. I think I have boulder protection on. Yes, I do. Okay, that makes my life easier. Damn it. Never mind, it's a mimic. Alright, well, I'm glad I didn't... Get that one. That would have been damage. Actually, you know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna go stealthy stealth. I forgot. I've got sneak sneak attacks, but uh, bam. But uh, yeah, they say it's a once a week or bi. I, I think they actually say bi-weekly updates. So the only thing that I don't know is if they have um like a beta build. I I haven't actually checked to see if they've got some kind of weird beta build built into the game. Uh, or, like, through the Steam client. I haven't messed around with that, and I feel like I should. Scroll a jump. What do we got in here? Wooden helm. Freezing aura versus boulder protection. I think freezing aura is generally going to be better for us, though. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Bow spec would be nice, but, uh... Oh, well. Yeah, what happens when you shank the shrine? Uh, after a certain amount of shanking, the shrine uh, blows up and then does crazy damage to you, which is super unfortunate. I'd prefer to avoid that kind of thing. Now that we've figured out this, like, potion thing, though, I'm actually going to buy as many potions 
to, uh, I don't know, to up my arsenal if I can. Unfortunately, I'm going to need more weapons. Do I have any more? Nope. Nuts, but looks like this, oh, the dagger did stop being poisoned. So there is actually a limit on that. That disappoints me a little bit, actually. And that's also the first point of damage I actually took this entire floor. Crazy. Have a hat. Damn it. Have a hat. Yeah! Because I don't want to have an arrow. Arrows hurt. I don't really have a good way of dealing with the, uh, the spikes either. I really wish I had, like, hmm. Really wish I had, uh, spike protection. Or feather fall. Really just feather fall is, like, the best thing ever. So we've got this guy. Yeah! And I'm not going to be able to, uh... I don't want to actually retreat here. Retreating? Bad, bad news bears. But, oh well. Bad, uh, bird... Bird is making fun of me. That I'm... Uh, I don't want berserkitis. Do, do I have... Oh no, I don't have the amulet. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mm, I... I'm actually gonna keep Berserk Itis on. Uh, the thing is, like, you're not really that overpowered in this game. Like, you don't... You don't ever really get super powerful. You just get some, like, really useful perks. And the problem is, like, the game quickly just becomes ridiculously difficult. So I actually wish I was a little bit more overpowered purely because... Then I might actually have a chance of winning this game. Also, apparently, stealth breaks Berserk Itis. Dang. Yeah, Freezing Aura. That is most useful against bats. And in many other situations, but still... Ow. And in many other situations, but, uh... That guy's a jerk. What's he doing over here? Well, that's okay. I'll shank his kidneys. I think I got... Well, I got one kidney shot in. And now he's just... He's apparently lost all direction in life and can't really figure out what he's doing. Is he, is he done yet? Has he lost interest in me? I think I broke him. Nope, he knows where I- What the shit? I think I- I think I stealth broke his AI. Because he knew enough to st stab at me when I got close to him, but he didn't know enough to keep pursuing me for whatever reason. That'd be a shame. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I- I just wish there was- There was ways of getting more overpowered. Then I am. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna clear out as much of this as possible. Oh, hello. I can stealth here. Okay. He still can't see me. Book of Spirits is going to be pretty useful, though. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cast up spirits. And I don't think the spirits cancel stealth. Yeah, they don't. Actually, they might. I have no idea what his plan is here. I have no idea, but you know what? Works for me, and let's... Oh, I didn't know you could freeze the dragon, but the nice thing about all of this is, even if, uh... Even if, uh, he knows where I am, as long as I break stealth and stab him, I do extra damage, which gives me a lot of flexibility here. Because that pretty much means he pokes his head up and then I stab him in the face. It's great, and extraordinarily convenient. Let's just keep looping around and cheese the crap out of the dragon. You know, you'd think dragons would be smarter than this, but they're really not. They're actually quite dumb. I kind of feel like I should be doing some kind of... Uh, how to train your dragon type dealio here, but uh, not really doing that. Mostly just making fun of things. What else do we got around here? I think I saw Maiden back there? But it could be wrong. Oh, hey, there's the door out of here. So you know what we're going to do? Boulder protection. Fuck you! Thank you. I'm back to Freezing Aura, because that is way more powerful. Really wish I had uh, spike protection that I could put on, because I wish I had, like, some way of... Oh, boy, this is going to be all kinds of mess. Never mind. That was actually incredibly easy. All right, potions plenty, and what do these gauntlets do? Wall phasing. Versus discreetly increase the range of your weapons. I think... I think our choices are clear. Now... Was there... What? I do have spike protection! Oh, oh, okay. 
That could have gone really poorly for me. And it turns out I'm a lucky, lucky man. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, Birdcatcher is asking what the premise of this game is. I mean, it's the premise of most roguelikes. Get to the end of the cave. Cave turns into jungle. Jungle turns into catacombs. And, wow, I have both spike protection and... Uh, I have both spike protection and boulder protection available. That actually is really, really useful. <laughs> and apparently... Apparently some of you knew I had spike protection. I didn't. Either way, let's get out of here. But, uh, yeah, no, th this is, uh, this game doesn't really have much of a story, and to a degree, that doesn't bother me that much. It's more so the fact that this game is just so tight in a lot of cases that I'm totally forgiving of almost everything. Anyway, I'm trying to decide, do I want to go with Shadow Clones, or, uh, let's boost up our damage here. I think Strength boosts our damage. So if I can stab things more effectively, that would be good. Anyway, um, yeah, I have 110 health. I'm feeling pretty damn meaty, which is great. And we still have one more level on the catacombs, which is also great. All right, can I stealth up in the water? Nope, doesn't look like you can start sneaking while swimming. However, the moment you get in the water, you can start sneaking. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, that was... Closer than I'd like it to be. But the nice thing is, I don't, like, I, they can totally know I'm there, but as long as I'm currently sneaking. Oh, what? Did they lose interest in me? Wow. That's convenient. Ah, uh, wow. But, yeah, no, you can just totally cheese things. As long as you're stealthed, it don't matter. Hey, you. Yeah, shanking machine. Kidney shots for days and nobody's... Nobody's the wiser. Alright, so we are going to have to fight the worm. That bit scares me a bit. And then again, okay, don't take falling damage. Falling damage would suck. But, uh, yeah. Now, as long as a game has, as long as a game is good, wow, that is a hella convenient. Nope, 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 nope. As long as a game is, like, actually good and fun, the story doesn't need to be that com compelling. And that, that's one of those things that I've always found interesting about the roguelike market in general. Um, hmm. Okay, I can apparently reach him from here. Cool. Uh, that, like, they are not... That most roguelikes are more concerned with being a good game than trying to, like, push a crappy story or really anything else. Like, actually, there aren't a whole lot of roguelikes that even have good stories. Which is admittedly kind of disappointing. But, uh, yeah, no. Water really should probably cancel stealth. Or at least, if you're in water and still sneaking, you just move hella slow. Okay, this is... Can you get hairy? I kind of want to avoid killing those for a little bit longer. Ow, damn. Yep, yeah, no, we're actually doing damage here. Also, I have spike protection on, so I have less to fear. Yeah! Also, weirdly enough, busting up spikes does not break stealth either. What's up, dude? How'd you like your kidneys? Ow. Or, not ow. Terror! Interestingly enough, though, um, pulling back your bow cancels stealth. I've never quite been able to figure that one out, but you know what? No real big deal. Damn it. Berserk I just makes things interesting. Oh, right, you can't even... Okay, you can't even go in your inventory while you have Berserk I just... Right, let's just wait a little bit here. Wait for Berserk I just to go away. Put on boulder protection. Drop the boulder. Looks like we lived through it anyway. Keep berserking. We've got spike protection. Like, the thing is, it's not that we naturally do huge amounts of damage, it's that Berserkitis is really effective. But kind of inconsistent. Alright. Uh. Oh, hello. This is sneaky sneaky. I should be able to... Nope, I'm not going to be able to do this. Why even bother? Can I make it? Yeah! Alright, treasure chest has a steel sword for me. Ooh, mana steel. What's this? Unbounded sight. Uh, it's going to be better than Berserkitis. Berserkitis is probably going to kill us. And let's see. So, I'm actually going to keep the steel sword, because the thing is we can stealth, 
and do crazy loads of damage. It's going to be a lot slower, but uh, let's see if I can find a good victim. Hello, good victim. 20 damage. Christ. That's, that's nuts. All right. And Mr. Bats. Seriously, that is really effective. What are you? Double jump versus floor phasing. Wow, that is... All right. So we've got spike protection, which I really don't want to get rid of. Double jump. Uh, mana steel. I'm also stabbing things pretty effectively, and since I haven't put anything into, uh... I haven't put anything into Dagger Mastery, there doesn't really seem to be that much of a need for it. Let's see if I can kill the plant. Yeah! And then go back to stealth, because the worm boss has completely disappeared from us. Alright. Or, lost interest in us. It said I can still trigger him based on proximity. So even if he doesn't know where I am, he'll still hang out. Will he shoot me? Oh, he will shoot at me, though. What a, what a jerk. Oh, well, that's what all the damage is for. Shoot. That is really good. All right, let's stealth up. Don't know if he knows where I am. Doesn't look like he does, but yeah. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get at him from up there. So I'm not even going to bother. That just seems like too much work. Let's just, let's just hide back here for a little while at least. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Chad is currently talking about NetHack. Fun fact, first roguelike I ever played. I've been meaning to actually play it at some point on on stream. I just have to get to it. I do so much damage. We are in a really good position for fighting this boss right now. All right, Stealth Rogue, very effective. Really enjoying it. And I thought we were in a safe place. Turns out we're not, that's okay. That's generally not, not a problem for us. Boss does not seem to give a shit about the central platform, though. Oh, perfect, and he put us in a really nice spot. To stab his face, yeah! Let's get that key. That was probably the easiest worm boss I've ever had against uh, with a melee character. Okay, you're gonna be a pain. Ah, but we got the sword with... Oh, I just realized we have the reach bonus, too. So, like, I can stab things from, like, half a mile away. That's great. I don't rem Okay, there's no maiden. We still have spike protection. I'm going to do like another run after this and not have spike protection and be like, we have spike protection and then die. And, oh, that's cursed, but probably better. Okay, scroll of teleport, scroll of uncursing. All right, I'm still gonna take that off, but let's see. Yeah, uh, let's see. And I believe, yeah, NetHack is actually still slightly in development. Don't know how much, like how much changes, but, uh, I know I know people that are still working on it, to say the least. All right, let's go shopping. See what's going on. Uh, oh. is that a? That sounds interesting. That also sounds interesting. So I'm gonna buy this because it seems like a party. And then, eh, do I need a potion of poison? I don't really need a potion of poison. Let's dump a couple of things that we don't really want. I'm gonna get rid of Berserk Itis. I'd rather have Unbounded Sight, especially for what we're doing. And, uh, hmm. Are you a scroll of identification? Nope. Must have been a scroll of something else. Either way, let's equip the big ass sword that must be new. Wow. Well, that that feeds perfectly into our, uh, our stealth mechanics we've got going on for us. And I'm gonna go looking for pork chops. Let's actually switch to our dagger. It's the, uh, oh, hello. How am I supposed to get to you? Here we go. No pork chop, but, uh, hmm. Actually, we want to go stealth for this one. Let's break line of sight. Then switch over to the big-ass sword of death and destruction. 25 freaking damage. Holy shit, this is going to be great. I have my concerns about fighting certain types of enemies, but that's okay. This is fun. And ridiculous. All right, I got double jump. Well, that makes this convenient. It takes the enemies a little while to figure out what's going on, and I am totally okay with that. Yeah, it does 12 damage uh, without me even trying, and it has life steal. So, like, I could actually just farm all the worms on this on this floor instead, which some part of me is super tempted to do because this might actually take a while finding where the pork chop is. Either way, this is pretty nuts. All right, 
Suck it. Worked out well. Still, no pork chop, but that's okay. Come on, pig man, tell me where it is. I know you hid it from me. Is it up in here? Doubt it. I think there's supposed to be like a visual, uh, like a, a visual detail that you can keep in mind. But I have yet, I have yet to figure it out. Nope, no pork chops there. This is gonna take a while. But, uh, I know I'm only down 4 HP, but the reason why I'm doing this is I've cleared out the entire level and I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> Pigman is now being possessive of his pork. It'll be mine. Guess I could also just go to the HP thing. But, um, I don't know. I, I just want to figure out where the pork chops are. Like, if there's some kind of... If, the, if there's some kind of standard for it. Because if I know where they are commonly, then we're all good. But as far as I can tell, they're always just in the... Oh, nope, can't do that. They're always just kind of hanging out in a corner. Well, let's just murder this guy. I'll get my health back. Just normally. Oh, well, we've got the chest. We've got our insanely, cra uh, insanely powerful gear. And this is... Uh, obviously going to be the best uh, this is probably going to be the best thief run I ever have so we don't want to go into anatomical studies because that's going to do us no good uh, until we get like a really good dagger so I'm just going to keep pouring points into uh, strength because our best bet here is just going to be insta murdering everything we come across we're still going to run into some oh hello that's an interesting issue Well, that sucked. And that, ladies and gentlemen, or really just gentlemen, I don't even know if I have a whole lot of ladies watching this. That is why we fill up our bars. Because this game is hard as shit. Or at least, the... D damn it! The difficulty goes up like crazy. Now, I will admit, I kind of wish we had gotten our, uh... We had gotten a dagger with lifesteal instead of a broken-ass sword. Because, as cool as the sword is, we're not going to be able to, like, get in within stabbing range of 90% of our enemies. Ah! Bat! Bat! That's gonna be a problem. Oh, right, I'm wearing heavy punch... gloves. See how much our punch gloves do for damage. Also, psychic push. Eight damage on a punch. That's not bad, actually. And uh, unfortunately, we no longer have. Uh... Oh, this is this is not great. Yeah, the wisps can still see me regardless of stealth, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I can do twenty damage on a punch. That's not bad. So, hmm, I'm trying to decide. I'd like the sword, but it seems like. Seems like most enemies are too quick on their feet. And that's going to give us problems. Also, bouncing into enemies causes problems for us as well. Because, yeah, stealthing here. Uh, you know what? Let's try with this sword. It's got reach, but it's... I thought this might happen. Oh, I can't do damage to him. Holy shit. All right, potion of speed, potion of magic, potion of defense, potion of feather fall, potion of regeneration. Oh, thank God that almost killed us. And there go all of my potions of regeneration. Okay, so stay the fuck away from plants, which is going to seriously suck. Oh, man. That could have gone way better. Oh, uh, you know how I said stay away from plants? Guess what the boss is. Sup? Holy crap. Time to run. Time to run as fast as I can. Luckily, I think... I think we're gonna be okay here. Because I can break line of sight. And with... With any luck... Those plants will just continually to come after me, even though he totally can't see me anymore. What a dick boss. 
I do have a, I do have a, uh, a bomb if I need it. But I'm not keen on using it. I no longer have, uh, I no longer have wall phasing, but then again, yeah, damn, this is gonna suck. I probably should have just gone straight past him, but I was really hoping I could do, like, really dickish, abusive tactics to, you know, lobotomize his ability to do anything to us. Turns out, no such luck. He knows where I am at all times, which seems kind of broken. Oh, that's not a passable platform. Good to know. Alright, so we have a couple of options here, none of which I'm particularly keen on. What do you got for me? He's got a bomb. I've got problems. At least I do uh, crazy amounts of damage, so we got that going for us, but this is going to be a problem. Yeah, I, I can't use and abuse the AI on the, I, AI on the boss here. Which is going to suck. At least I can murder those guys. Alright, so we got that going for us. I'm trying to see what I can do here. Because if I can level up without fighting the boss, that'd be good. But unfortunately, since we're not getting a better dagger here... And yeah, I know we've got the like crazy sort of awesomeness, but that's not going to do us much for good. So here's what we're going to do. Got him. Didn't, be, didn't do me a look of good, though. Or... It might have. I actually have no idea if it, I hit him or not. Which concerns me greatly. Uh, I think I did, actually. I think I did. He he actually has really high health. Alright, so we, we have a couple of options here. None of them are great, but we're gonna we're gonna have to do the really No, I, I did not hit the spider. If you notice, the spider is actually there and quite alive. Well, time to do the very slow method of fighting this boss. Ranged attack. See? There's the spider. I actually hit the boss. Balls. I gotta keep my distance here. I don't have any more bombs. Gonna have to drink the potion of regeneration, though. But, you know what? Now we know what they are. What does this broadsword do? Freezing. Eh. It's okay. I'm gonna unequip it. Let's see. Where the hell? Huh. So we have one tactic for killing this boss. It's kind of dependent on my ability to get places. Let's get over here. I'm going to stealth. We're going to go murder that one guy. Let's switch over to the vampiric dagger for this one. Because he can't escape from it. It's not even the vampiric dagger. It's just the crazy da crazy sword. But no, we absolutely hit him. But uh cool thing about this boss is you can kill his heads. And... I mean, that's not necessarily, like, truly amazing, but, uh... Okay, time for me to go. Time for me to go! Time for me to... Time for me to freaking go. Ow, damn. You little bitch. Thought I cleared the entire level out. There we go. That is way harder to do than you'd think it would be. Right, now I should be safe, and come on, let me hit some heads, yeah, because every time I kill a head, A, they don't come back, fun fact, but they also do damage, uh, they also do damage to the boss, so as long as I can kind of get them baited here, we're all good, as long as he doesn't drop down, if he drops down, we're fucked, come on, come after me, come after me proper, now, I could be super dangerous and charge up there and punch him a couple more times, because I did, I, I absolutely, or that happens, 